Hello there everybody, welcome. So, yesterday I was just passing by the .NET uh, the blog, and I just passed by this article, and I found this pretty interesting, so I wanted to share the informations. So here they, s they are talking about uh, a new technology and a new mobile development framework. It's called .NET Multi-Platform App UI, or MyUI for short. And what they say in here that MyUI is a cross-platform, the cross-platform native UI. It uses a single project and a single code base. It can deploy to multiple devices across mobile and desktop. And that it is the evolution of Xamarin Forms, and it's targeting .NET uh, 6, which will be preview, which uh, will have a preview for in the end of this year. All of this makes this uh, May UI pretty interesting. So as they say in here, as you can tell from their example that they show, so this is obviously a, a template project. They don't have really that much files. It's only one project, which is amazing. So they have your usual main page.xaml, your app.xaml, assembly information as, u as usual. You have now resources where you can put maybe your fonts, your images and stuff and platforms where you put your uh, platform specific code and of course when you want to execute you have uh, you have multiple uh, executing options and they say here that it, use, it uses the mo modern app patterns like MVVM and MVU as well uh, it will improve the hot reload with instant hot reload, I guess. As it seems from this example that this person uses. And one other thing. You can tell that he is not using uh, Visual Studio. He's using, I mean, yes, he is using Visual Studio, but not the 2019 or for Mac. He's using Visual Studio Code. Which makes it obviously a very very good option for developing mobile applications on Linux I mean as long as it runs on Visual Studio Code and you can use Visual Studio Code for it it will obviously be on Linux and I will be switching back to Linux if this happens actually I'm just tired of getting Windows updates everywhere uh, yes so I didn't publish the Linux video I forgot sorry I'll try to remake it because it looks very bad. Right now, let's talk about the GitHub page. So, if you want to try the project, you can go to this GitHub, GitHub slash .NET slash MyUI, and you can just go to here, clone and download, and you click open in Visual Studio if here if you have Visual Studio, of course, and it will automatically open the project for you. And as you can. see See here they they tell the same story that they are uh, an evolution of Xamarin forms and other stuff. But so here we can find their goals. So their goals are to improve app performance and improve simplicity of contributing. So people that want to contribute to this project will find it easy because it's like just a single project, not like three projects like Xamarin forms. And they they say, they say that they will ch they will ship with uh, .NET six. It will be huge, actually. .NET 6 will be amazing. They're expected to release in 2021, September of 2021. It's still like two years from now, or a year and a half, but we can wait, actually. And as I said before, you can use Visual Studio Code, where in Xamarin Forms you cannot. And I hope, like, more people join this MayUI train. Because it will make it better, and it will make it actually give it some spotlight. Right, so if you check on the roadmap of MayUI, you can tell that they are expecting to replace Xamarin Forms, as you can see. Xamarin Forms will be system.mayui. And they have some pretty interesting uh, re release things, like, I don't know. Glidex? What's Glidex? I'm not sure. Anyway, 
and if you can see uh, in Xamarin's form uh, roadmap as well, you can see that it ends on version 5.0, which is the major version that will be uh, that will be released in this September, and it will have like some amazing stuff. Just check this out. You just check uh, tab view and app bar. These things are like amazing, and this just yesterday, I guess they just updated the, their hotly that their hot reload, where you can reload only the parts of the page that changed, not not the whole page. So you can see the tab view is beautiful, if you can make it beautiful at all. Uh, and here are some examples. Let's uh, let's see. The you have your basic tab view. You can like move between pages by swiping and you can have like a whole titles in the tab page that you can't do in uh, the usual tab view and here you can see that this is like uh, you have a button in here and something I'm not sure how to do that but I guess it's pretty good so here uh, and it has many options like is cyclic cyclical which means if you go to the last page and you just and you continue cycling, it will go to the it will bring you back to the first page and just infinite loop. And another important feature is feature is uh, lazy loading, which you can tell in their example in here. You can see that uh, when he is not activating lazy loading, all the pages are loaded. But he, he if he activated lazy loading. They will load depending on the page that the current user in uh, is in, which I improves hugely. The, which, as I said, it improves the performance like big time. So, they have like tab transition transitions and stuff. I'm not sure. And yes, I guess that's pr pretty much it. But let's check this app bar. I guess this is the most interesting one. So this app bar will allow you to create things like this. That look beautiful. And as you can tell from my internet connection, I guess it's pretty fast. Maybe because I'm doing the update of Visual Studio, I'm not sure. But anyway, as you can tell, you can create some pretty interesting app bars. You can even put the app bar like in the bottom, which is awesome actually. It allows you to have amazing flexibility. And if I can tell, you can use CSS. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe you can use CSS. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it for this news uh, video. See you next time.